Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, or hello if you're new. I'm Allison. I'm Eli, and this is our dog Kramer. And today we're going to be sharing 10 things that we wish we knew before visiting Tokyo Disney. So the first thing we wish we knew is that the monorail system is not free. Yeah, we ended up using uh, the money on our Suica cards, which is usable, or which you, it's like a tap-on card that you can use all around Japan, um, and we were able to use it there. I think it was like two dollars uh one way so it kind of got expensive especially when you had to um transfer or when you wanted to park hop yeah and i think they also have like a bus system which we didn't use i'm not sure if it's free or not it might be but i think it takes you to the resorts like the official disney resorts which are within walking distance to the parks i think there was like a. Uh, I think you could buy an all day pass, which we should have on our last day because that was the day we kept transferring between parks. Um, I think it would have ended up being cheaper, but I don't know the exact prices for that. Yeah, we just, I mean, we like the convenience of our Suica card because it's easy to tap on and off. And easy to refill. Yeah, and we were using it throughout, like not just around to or Disney, but throughout um, our Japan. time in Japan, yeah. Okay, the next thing we wish we knew was to show up early. Yeah. Very, very early. So the first day we were there, we were going to Tokyo Disneyland, and we showed up an hour early, and there was already a lot of people there. But things ended up being okay. But the next day, I actually messed up, and I thought the park opened an hour earlier than it actually did. So we were there two hours early, and there was still a lot of people lined up to get into Tokyo Disney Sea and you need to show up extremely early, especially if you want to do some popular rides. Yeah, so we recommend showing up, if you're going to Disney Sea in particular, probably at least two hours early and then just sit and wait and bring some snacks and drinks. Um, and you can go to the bathroom, but you have to go outside, like, um. Uh, the Tokyo Disney Sea, the bathroom there was at the, um, at the train, the at train the monorail station, station yeah. yeah. monorail station. Number three is if you want to try a popular snack, you should probably do so early in the morning. Um, they have lots of different cool flavors of popcorn, like, what was the one? My favorite was the white chocolate matcha. Yeah, that one was really good. But we noticed, like, midday, later in the day, the lines were extremely long, like, probably, like, a 45-minute wait just for popcorn. But we went early in the morning to get that popcorn and there was just like four people in line so if you don't care about like having breakfast during breakfast time and you can get a snack that you want early in the morning and you won't have to wait as long yeah i agree so number four what we wish we knew um was not to expect to do a whole lot um in a day regarding rides um, we were definitely at a disadvantage because we didn't have the app, so we couldn't get the fast pass right when we entered the park. Um, so we would have to run to whatever ride we wanted to do and get a fast pass, and then yeah, the paper fast pass. Yeah. Um, because you can only download as of right now, or well, when we went back in February 2020, you could only download the app if you were a Japanese citizen or you have a Japanese address and the app is only in Japanese as well so unless you know Japanese it's not really helpful to have the app um, I guess you could guess but I don't know I mean you can look at the pictures but still you you technically not supposed to have the app unless you have a Japanese address um, so you're really at a disadvantage because you can't just scan into the park and then you know, get whatever fast pass you want. You physically have to run to the kiosk and it's stressful. <laughs> and I mean, the fast passes, they run out really quickly, like within the first hour. And oh, for the I popular- first half hour. Well, the popular rides within the first half hour and then everything else is gone pretty quickly as well. So just don't have high expectations to try to do every single ride you want in a day. That can be, that could probably- If you don't have the app, if you have the app, I. I don't know, maybe you can do more. Yeah. You probably will be able to do more. And along with being disadvantaged and not using the app, um, the lines for rides get extremely long. I mean, lines at any Disney park can be really long, but 
I mean, I remember the first day we went to Tokyo Disney Sea, just 10 minutes after park opening, the line for Soren was already two hours or more. Yeah, that sucked. Uh, <laughs> which we wouldn't have wanted to wait in line for that long. Um, unless you're really patient and you have a lot of time in the parks, then... Yeah, but the line was like right in the direct sun. It was hot. I was not trying to wait in that line. So the next day I just ran towards the... Right when park opened, I ran towards the fast pass kiosk for it, and that was what we, our fast pass was for the day. Yeah, uh, it, and you can pretty much only get like one or two fast passes a day because everything just runs out. Mm -hmm. um, and then waiting in line for rides can just take up a lot of your day, so um, it can be kind of hard to plan. But um, hopefully, we are better equipped next time. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, so sorry this is kind of weird but we're filming this after the fact. So number five is wishing that we knew where the World of Disney store is. And I'm saying that in quotes because they actually call it something different. It's called Bon Voyage. And so we had left the parks early one day because we wanted to do some souvenir shopping and so we were heading over to Ixbiari which is like their downtown Disney kind of area and um, we thought that they would have one there but they we only found a regular disney store and so we didn't actually know that it was called something different it's called bon voyage and it's by the jr myhama station train station so look for that instead of looking for something being called world of disney and now we'll just get back to the regular video and then number six kind of related to that is that there's certain merchandise that is only in each park um, so, like the Duffy and Friends stuff, that you can only get that in Disney Sea. They don't have any of that stuff in Disneyland. Uh huh. Um, and then if there's like a like these ears. Yeah. Um, and then if there's like a park specific celebration, like when we were there, they had Pixar Playtime that was in Disney Sea, so all the merch was in that park. And then Very Very Mini was in Tokyo Disneyland, so all of that merch was in Tokyo Disneyland. So again, if you're only going to like one park per day, um, make sure you get the merch that you want in that park. Um, otherwise, you might miss out. Number seven, the parks are huge. Mm -hmm. Like the walkways are just absolutely massive compared to what we're used to in the American parks. And I mean, for good reason. They have lots of people visiting their parks, but we were just kind of surprised at how wide the walkways were and how spaced out everything seemed to be. So. Be prepared to do a lot of walking. Yeah, even though like we said it was very crowded, it didn't seem as crowded as it should have been because the walkways were so wide and spread out. Um, you definitely have a lot of breathing room compared to the like other American parks, I think. Number eight for what we wish we knew is that the parks don't have free like first visit or happy birthday buttons but they do have stickers that say like happy birthday or first visit um, however they do sell buttons they cost about like three dollars usd which we bought one of the first visit buttons and i'll insert a picture um, i would recommend getting this because the cast members are so excited when they see that it's your first visit they're like genuinely so happy um, and because one of the cast members saw we had a first visit button, she um, asked us our names and then she wrote them in Japanese and put it on the, the first visit sticker for us and so that was really nice. I think this was all around Japan but we definitely noticed it first in Tokyo or in Disneyland because that was our first stop. But clothing sizes run a lot smaller um, compared to the United States. Like I think this shirt, I think, um, so I got it in the park, I think it's a large, I'm usually a medium, I'm a usually a small or medium, um, well no, yeah, I'm a medium in the United States, and this shirt is kind of like, it's kind of tight, but for a large, um, like, and like all my sweatshirts I had to get like large. Or XL. Even. XL, but they don't have XL in the parks, I noticed, I had, I ended up getting XL sweatshirts or shirts outside of the park in like just Tokyo or wherever, but... Yeah, the sizing is pretty limited at the parks. I think it's pretty much just small, medium, large, and that's it. 
and those sizes run relatively small. Um, yeah, this it's tight. So, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know. I guess, and like, you can't really try this shirt on because it's uh, pre-packaged. So I would just say get one, if you are getting this shirt or any shirt, get a size up from what you would normally get in the States. If possible. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and finally, we wish we had known to leave more room in our luggage, which I mean, we knew we were gonna be buying a lot, but there's so many more things we wish we could have brought. Um, we just didn't have room in our luggage, unfortunately. We didn't wanna be lugging around a lot of things because we were going from place to place to place around Japan. Um, but we wish we had more room in our luggage because we definitely would have wanted to get a lot more souvenirs. Yeah, I think I would have probably got more of those pass holders if um, if I had more room because they were really cute and I don't know. Uh, it's very unique. Yeah, they're so convenient just to have your transportation card and your park ticket there. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We put our Suica cards in there and just tapped on with that. Yeah. Um, I probably would have gotten a lot more ears because they have such cute ears there. Um, but yeah, so those are the 10 things we wish we had known before going to Tokyo Disney. And we hope that this was helpful for you if you're planning a trip to Tokyo Disney sometime in the future. And let us know what you guys think in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.